Hey everyone, this video is about shrimp tank basics, water parameters. One of the main pillars to successful freshwater dwarf shrimp keeping is the quality of water. The parameters successful professional breeders measure are GH, general hardness, KH, carbonate hardness, pH, power of hydrogen, TDS, total dissolved solids, and water temperature. More advanced topics include oxygen levels and carbon dioxide levels, which I'll discuss in a later video. GH, general hardness, the measure of calcium and magnesium in the water, usually measured in degrees of hardness. KH, carbonate hardness, the measure of carbonates and bicarbonates dissolved in the water, usually also measured in degrees of hardness. pH Power of hydrogen The measurement of hydrogen ion concentration, a measure of acidity or alkalinity of a solution. The units are from 0 to 14, where 7 is neutral and below 7 is acidic and above 7 is basic. TDS Total dissolved solids. It's a measure of dissolved combined content of all inorganic and organic substances present in a liquid. It can be measured in microsiemens or parts per million. Temperature can be measured in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Each species of shrimp has their ideal temperature range. While you can adapt each to different ranges, this can be risky as you may lose some shrimp that aren't as robust or as healthy. These are my tried and tested water parameters for these common types of shrimp that I currently use in over 25 different shrimp colonies. It is a good idea to consult with a breeder for their suggested parameters. For example, the orange eye blue tiger shrimp comes in a German and Asian variety. While they can be kept in Caradina water parameters, they can also be kept in neo Caradina parameters as well. Freshwater dwarf shrimp generally fall into three main categories or species, Neocaridina, Caridina, and Sulawesi, which is a type of Caridina from Indonesia. Neocaridina species are commonly known as Cherry, Painted Fire Red, Bloody Mary, Blue Jelly, Blue Dreams, Green Jade, and Black Rose. The parameters I keep them in are the GH of 8 to 10, the KH of 6 to 9, the pH 6.5 to 7.5, TDS 200, the temperature in Fahrenheit is 72 to 76, and the temperature in Celsius 22 to 24. For my Caradina species, or some of the common types are Taiwan B, Crystal Red and Black, Pinto, Tangerine Tiger, Red, black, yellow King Kongs, and blue bolts. The parameters that I keep them in are a GH of 4 to 6, a KH of 0 to 1, a pH of 6 to 6.8, a TDS of 130, the temperature in Fahrenheit 68 to 72, and the temperature in Celsius 20 to 22. For my Sulawesi shrimp, common ones are Denarelli, White Orchid, Red Orchid, Harlequins, and yellow cheeks. The GH is 4 to 6. The KH I keep them at are 2 to 4. The pH is from 8.1 to 8.3. The TDS is 100. The temperature in Fahrenheit is 82 to 84. And the temperature in Celsius is 28 to 29. Since water consistency is key to successful shrimp keeping, the more serious and advanced shrimp keepers start with RODI water, which is reverse osmosis deionized water. They have a GH, KH, and TDS close to zero. This allows you to start from a base of zero and remineralize to your preferred range. While it may be tempting to start with tap water and remineralize, this only works if you know what's in the water. A common argument is, my cherry shrimp are doing well and breeding well in my tap water, so they should be fine in yours. The issue with that is everyone's tap water can be different. Also, tap water can contain chlorine and chloramine, which are potentially harmful to shrimp. 
If you have any concerns or questions, you can contact your city for a water analysis to determine the basic parameters and also use a test kit for GH and KH. In my area, Vancouver, the water is almost as good as RODI water. A lot of people use tap water, but during the rainy season, the sediments and rainfall can sway the water parameters. And for the people who live in an area with well water, they may find their water to be super hard. First of all, it is good to test your water. And secondly, using RODI water allows you to have a base of zero, which is more ideal. For Neocaridina shrimp, I use Salty Shrimp Silhouette 7.5 to achieve a TDS of 200. For Caradina Shrimp, I use Tima or SL Aqua's Blue Wizard and remineralize to a TDS of 130. For Silhouette, I use Salty Shrimp Silhouette 8.5 and remineralize to a TDS of 100. Since the GH and KH is known and consistent for each of these products, I can always rely on my TDS meter when I'm remineralizing to ensure it's consistent every time. For evaporation and water top-off, I use pure RODI water. As the water evaporates, minerals are left behind. Adding pure water brings it back to the previous levels. I perform a 10% water change weekly with RODI water remineralized to the above parameters. Experienced breeders can change 10% bi-weekly or 20% water change when the TDS creeps over 20 parts per million. I also highly recommend using lids and an auto top-off system to stabilize the evaporated water. I wanted to share my experience and knowledge on water parameters as I consider it as a pillar of shrimp keeping and breeding. Thanks for watching.